Hi, I'm Zane Marshall, and this is the Warm Springs Natural Area. Beneath the warm thermal waters of the Muddy River, tiny fish swirl in a ritualistic dance that is cause for celebration for environmental managers like Zane Marshall. It's spring, spawning time for the endangered Moapides, which is experiencing a resurgence, a quiet comeback that is gaining attention along these sweeping fields and streams located 60 miles northeast of Las Vegas. By the activity, it appears the dace are embracing their restored habitat within thermal springs and streams that flow through the Warm Springs natural area. This is where several headwater streams converge to create the 32-mile-long Muddy River. The Southern Nevada Water Authority acquired the 1,200-acre tract of land in 2007 with funds from the Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act. As a condition of funding, the SNWA committed to maintaining the property as a natural area by protecting and enhancing its natural resources, restoring wildlife habitat, managing invasive plant and animal species, and stabilizing stream banks and channels. The complex of springs and streams provide unique habitat for the Moapides, a tiny, endangered fish found nowhere else in the world but in these warm spring waters. Thanks to restoration efforts, the population of the protected fish has almost quadrupled after nearly disappearing only a few years ago. The Moapa Warm Springs area is, is truly a unique area. There are many endemic species that don't occur anywhere else in the world. Uh, and so that's another reason why it's so important to protect this area and begin to restore it back to something close to its natural condition. We knew if we improved the habitat, the fish would respond. In many ways, this fish is measuring the health of the entire area, which is critical to many species of wildlife. In fact, 28 endangered or sensitive species, including the southwestern willow flycatcher and the yellow-billed cuckoo, inhabit the natural area. Scientists must carefully conduct dace restoration activities without negatively impacting these other wildlife. To track the dace population, mass divers swim face down in the river's shallow waters and count the finger-linked fish one by one. There's still a long way to go before the dace are considered safe from extinction. Listed as an endangered species in 1967, the dace population dropped to fewer than 500 in 2008. Their rapid decline in the variety of sensitive habitat in the area drew attention to the need for a management plan. The SNWA worked with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, which operates the neighboring Moapa National Wildlife Refuge and other agencies to create the Warm Springs Stewardship Plan and keep a watchful eye on the dace. Among the restoration activities called for in the plan, biologists realigned a section of stream on the property to a velocity and temperature that provide an ideal breeding and feeding ground for the dace. They also relocated non-native blue tilapia, which prey upon the dace, and created natural barriers along the upper reaches of the muddy river to further separate the fish populations. As the dace swim along the tributaries connecting the Warm Springs Natural Area and the Wildlife Refuge, Visitors can watch the journey through a special viewing chamber open on the refuge, fall through spring. The preservation of the dace is another example of how we're working together to preserve both water supplies and the many species that inhabit the area. They're interconnected, and by preserving one, we're ensuring the continued existence of the other.